Hello everyone, this is Maki. The special edition of the movie Gundam Seed Freedom has been released in theaters across Japan. This event allows fans to enjoy the edited version of the footage that will be included on the Blu-ray disc, but with the big screen and sound systems of a movie theater. You'll be able to watch this footage when you purchase the Blu-ray disc. In addition, some events that take place after the conclusion of the story of Seed Freedom were also briefly revealed. This additional epilogue cut currently has no announced plans for inclusion in any media. Previously, director Mitsuo Fukuda mentioned on Next that he would discuss with the staff about finding a way for fans to see it in some form. But as of now, nothing has been decided. Today, I'm going to talk about the content of this epilogue cut. Please note that this will be a full spoiler discussion. It's a different story than the one I told you about Kira and Lars before. Alright, let's dive in. After the credits, a date appears on the screen May 30 Wolves, Cosmic Era 75. The location is on the Goro Island in Or. Afran and Kagoya appear. The epilogue cut was shown in freeze frames. The two are sitting on the head of a cavalier Ifrit. Two cavaliers appear with the two sitting on the head of one of them. Afran reflects on the recent battle and expresses his gratitude to Kagoli. He explains that it was due to her providing the infinite justice Ganon type to and the cavalier I fit that they were able to achieve victory. Kagoli praises Afran's combat and tactical skills. In response, Afran declares his determination saying, When it comes to victory, I won't hesitate to use any means necessary. I'll analyze my opponent's weaknesses and exploit them relentlessly. Kagali listens intently, impressed by his words. But Afran adds, But even if we had fought on equal terms, I would have won. As Afran proudly continues his story, Kagali changes the subject. By the way, what did that enemy pilot mean by shameless fantasies? Afran's tone becomes uneasy. That line bothered you, too. He tries to brush it off, but Kagoli presses him for an explanation. Speaking of which I heard a lot about Marion. She mentioned that a woman named Mia spent the night in your bedroom. Afran frosted, quickly corrects her. There was an accident. I didn't invite her and I didn't do anything dishonest. Kagali replies with a slightly doubtful tone. Mayrin has been keeping me up to date on everything you've been up to. She's Luna's younger sister. She even told me how you behave around Luna Maria. So were those shameless fantasies, perhaps memories of those past incidents? Athran speaks to Kagali with a serious tone. The only person whose sensual form I've ever seen is you, Kagali. No other woman even registers in my eyes. Kagali, surprised by Athran's sincerity, brushes. Then she admits that she was worried when she heard he was challenging such a powerful opponent. When I heard you were fighting someone who had defeated Shin and Kira, I was really worried. Athran playfully replies, Well, if Shin wants to fully master the Justice Ganem, he'll need about 10 more years of training. Kagali can't help but laugh at Athran's overconfident remark, and the two share a quiet, peaceful moment as the epilogue cuts to the end. Many fans were curious about the future of Athran and Kagali's romance. While their love was highlighted in the story of Seed Freedom, the epilogue cut gave it even more depth. Athran's remark, it will take Shin another 10 years to master the Justice Ganem, is also quite endearing. 
it's clear that he acknowledges Shin's abilities. But there's also a hint of pride in Athran's words. It's adorable how Athran seems stubborn like a child. There's a lot of speculation among fans that the next story in the Seed series might be called Seed Justice. If we take Athran's words at face value, could it mean that Seed Justice will be released in 2034? And after the epilogue cut was completed, the production of a new Ani was officially announced. The title is Seed Freedom Zero, and they even showed some animation footage. One surprising scene showed Luna Maria and Shin in bathing suits cleaning the deck of the battleship Millennium. This was finished animation, not stills or black and white sketches. At the moment, it's unclear how Freedom Zero will be released, whether as a movie or via streaming. It seems that the Seed series still has a lot of excitement in store. Let's keep on cheering and looking forward to what's next. Thanks for watching to the end. See you in the next episode.